We have the race bike of American professional triathlete Heather Jackson here, and she will debut her 2019 race season at Ironman 70.3 Oceanside aboard this Argon E19 Tri Plus. Heather is a four-time Ironman champion. She was third at the Ironman Hawaii World Championships in 2016. And she is the current North American Ironman record holder with a time of eight hours and 39 minutes, 18 seconds, which she set at Ironman Arizona in 2018. Right then, so let's get stuck into the frame that Heather's riding. This is a size extra small on the Argon. Really cool paint job, love what Argon have done there. Nice and simple colors, but it looks really cool, love it. Next part about this frame that I really like is the integration. The brakes are essentially completely hidden away. You can't see them, especially here in the front forks. Pretty much the same there in the rear stays too. Nice aspect that Argon have added into the frame so that you can widen and narrow your pads super easy is this little adjuster here that you can get the Allen key into really easily so that if you need to change wheels, training wheels or race wheels that have got different widths, you can just adjust the brake width really, really easily. So that's really cool. Now, on that integration theme, there's another really nice thing about Heather's bike. And you can see that up here in the cockpit because there's no cables. There should be some wires coming through from the shifters here, coming down through the um, aero bars and coming out here to run into the frame. But actually what Heather's been able to do is have that completely customized and have it drilled through from here, down through the base bar to take the cable directly into the stem and down into the body of the frame so that we can't see any cables at all for her gears. And that's really, aerodynamically amazing. It's just really, really cool. Love that. So while we're talking about the cockpit, we've got the standard base bar that comes with the Argon as it would from the shop. But the change that Heather's made is with her ski poles, which are 51 speed shop, ski bend with a little bit of an angle to take the pressure off of her wrist when she's in the aero position. She's got her Wahoo Element Bolt bike computer to get all of her data. She's got the standard 51 speed shop arm cups fitted as well, running really quite nice and low. There's almost no riser in there at all, so she's super aerodynamic and low. So now that's the cockpit done, I'm gonna move back to the rear of the bike and talk about the group set. So on to the group set, Heather is running full DI2 9100 Durace on her bike. Moving to the front in her crank set, she has got 5542 tooth chain rings on this bike with 165 millimeter cranks. And on the end of those cranks, she's got the Luke Q carbon blade pedals. Moving to the back of the group set, and she has got standard 1128 tooth Durace cassette and standard Durace chain. So now that's the group set taken care of, let's have a look at the wheels. A stunning set of MV wheels that she has here on the bike. The rear there is the SES MV disc, which is the first time I've seen one of these, rather nice looking bit of kit. And the front wheel is the MV SES 7.8. And on those rims, Heather is running tires that I've actually never seen before, but they're the IRC Formula Pro tubeless in 28 mil front and back. And now finally for the finishing touches on Heather's bike. And moving up here to the saddle, which is the ISM Adamo that she's running, but with a really cool twist because up here on the seat of the saddle, she's actually got her own motto or slogan printed on there, which is live free or die, which is pretty cool. Haven't seen many customized saddles like that before. And the final section of the bike that I've talked about is Heather's nutrition. She's running standard bottle cages on here that takes her Sponsored logo bottles here, her Herbalife lime green bottles. And up there on the top tube, she's got the custom bento box that comes with the Argon bike that can keep all of her gels and race day nutrition tucked away. So there we have it. That is Heather Jackson's race bike, which I've really enjoyed taking a closer look at. Just great to see all the little additions that the pros can make to their bikes. And I guarantee that this bike will be turning some heads in this race season. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video about Heather's bikes. Please give the thumb up like button a hit. Don't forget to click on the globe, subscribe and get all the other videos on GTN. And if you wanna see another pro bike video, you can get that here.